conflict is not a sign of failure. It's a sign that you care. And the right relationship will destroy you. It will push the you that you've known yourself as to its limits and force you to either tighten the mask that you've been wearing since childhood or pull it off and discover who you really are besides and despite the traumas that you've been through. Hrah, hrah, hrah. Let's go. The right relationship will destroy you. Mm. You see, the right relationship will destroy you. It will destroy and invite both of you to a deeper level of intimacy. So many of us get into relationships because we think that when we find our person, that it's going to be rainbows and sunshine. If I can just find my one, then everything will be okay. I will be validated and my parents and grandparents won't ask me when I'm going to get married or X, Y, and Z, whatever it is. When I find my person, everything's going to be good. And the truth is often very sobering. Because when you find your person, that's when the work begins. When you find your person, that's when you begin to be pushed to your limits. By yourself, left to your own devices, in your own house, in your own room, in your own kitchen, with your own set of rules, your own understanding about how life should be, no one's tested. But when you put all of that next to someone else, who's also been traumatized, who's also been through shame, who's also who's also created strategies to stay safe, and you put those two people together, what often happens is everything that's been below the surface, everything that's been hiding below the surface comes erupting up like a volcano, spilling into each other's spaces, and then conflict, boom. And usually people see the conflict and they say, oh, this isn't the right person for me. On the contrary. This is exactly who you need and needed for the next stage of your evolution. For me, I wouldn't be who I am today without my wife. She has pushed me to my limits in every single way, and I am a better human because of it. When I met Alexi, I was financially broke. I wasn't broken. I had a million dollar consciousness, but I was financially broke. And she had at least three superstar dudes, dudes that have been on Oprah, dudes that have had HBO shows and all of these things. All of them wanted to marry her. And here I am, this skinny, little, sexy, chocolate, chocolate drop named P. Smiles coming for her. I had a dream. I had a vision, but I didn't have the money to match. But Alexi, Alexi had already been working on and already owned a home. She had already been on her business tip. So when I met her, she leveled me up. All my insecurities came up because here I am, the man of the house, supposed to be taking care of us and she's already got it together. But what happened? All that she had lifted me up. And then all that I had lifted her up and in the midst of that, there was conflict. And based on her understanding from her childhood, conflict meant divorce. Conflict meant breakup. For me, conflict was normal. It's exactly what I heard going on in my house all the time. And it didn't mean that. And so we had to figure out how to, and we're still in that process, how to communicate and level each other up without making meaning of it. And if we are going to make meaning of it, we don't fight each other. We fight the resistance. And even the resistance, we don't fight it. We meet it with compassion. We understand that this, whenever, whenever anything comes up, it is being placed in the law of mind, which is also considered the law of opposites. 
because it's very difficult for me to understand up if I have no reference for down. If I'm excited about hot, I need to understand what cold is. And so when we get into relationships and we say, Spirit, God, Buddha, Krishna, Allah, Source, Divine Intelligence, bring me somebody and help me level up. Bring me somebody. I would like to experience the highest heights of joy and love and harmony. I want to be ravished by this love, by this relationship. I want to go deep, Spirit. The moment we put that into the space, the opposite of that must also come up. Because I can't know in if I don't know out. And so relationships, if you're in the right one, will destroy you. They will give you an opportunity over and over and over again to eat some of that humble pie and realize and recognize that yes, you are dope, you are amazing, you are powerful, you are a sentient being, you are a unique emanation of the most high, and your shit stinks. It stinks. And you got work to do. The trick is not, I have work to do so that you love me more. The trick is, I have work to do because that's what I came here to do. Just like the trees, the moment, the moment a, 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 a avocado seed is planted in the ground and it begins to germinate and go through its process in the dark night of the soul, that tree knows that its evolutionary impulse is to evolve. And the moment we're planted in these relationships out of 7.7 .7 billion people, this person found you to take you to the next level of your evolution. So this is not about performing for love. This is about recognizing that you called in a divine mirror, a divine reflection whose shit also stinks. And together, like a slinky in reverse, each of you is oof, up one stair. Then you bring the other one, poof. Then the other one goes, oof up one stair, then you bring the other one. Hear me loud and clear, the partner that is most resourced at the time, it's their job to be a walking, talking, living demonstration of what is possible. To hold the high watch for their partner, hmm. because as you are lifted up, so are they. The getting is in the giving. And the only thing ever missing from any situation is what I am not willing to give. Now we have to ask ourselves, what truly is giving when it comes to partnership? Well, I'm gonna take a turn here for a moment. Yes, conflict is necessary. It's a part of relationships. Yes. Conflict is a signal that you still care. That you desire to find harmony and both of you are positioning and fighting to feel good. And not everything needs to be processed with your partner. Sometimes the best gift you could give your partner is to diffuse all of that righteousness, to put down the sword of righteousness and allow yourself to see that not everything is worth processing. To be with the understanding that sometimes you, you lose the, the battle to win the war. Sometimes it's not worth processing every little thing, especially if you know that that's a part of how you Test whether they still love you or not. There's a lot here. But if you're in the right relationship, it will destroy you. Blessings and blessings, everyone. If this landed, if it resonated, I ask that you share it. Whether it's a podcast, whether you're seeing this on video somewhere, wherever it is, I ask that you share it. I ask that you tag your partner. I ask that you send them a loving message and remind them that conflict is not a problem. It's necessary for the evolution 
of each of you and the third entity called your relationship. Blessings and blessings. If you want more, go to PrestonSmiles.com. I got you.